Open presented by Best Day Brewing. And you're just back in time for quarterfinal action. Between Fraser and Johnson and Garnett and Loon. This will be something special. We we've hope, we hope. We've seen some incredible quarterfinals so far. Good luck speeding up on Dylan Frazier. Good luck speeding up against any of these boys, Johnson or Frazier. Quick boys. Nice hands. Yep, they caught Colin, just excuse me, Connor, on his right hip there. Yep, and just that's a tough right shot. Hip and anywhere around that region is always going to be tough. First. Nice start by Frazier and Johnson. Always nice to get first points. And a very quick fire start here. Five zero on a two. Is that an offensive timeout? It could be, yeah. I'm surprised because Tyler and Connor are staying on the court as in saying, hey, we didn't call that timeout, even though you would imagine that would be a good time to call one. Now, that may say something about the heat. It has got hotter during the day here. And if these boys make it through the quarterfinals, they've got some tough semifinal action coming up. So it's probably a nice way to manage their energy throughout this match. Yeah, I wish I knew. I wish I knew. Dylan Fraser, by the way, said to give a shout out to his family. I said, JW, do you want to give a shout out to anybody? And he said, I'm good. And Tyler Lung has a shout out too. I'll give that after this point. Oh, he was waiting on that. He was. And so Tyler said to give a shout out to the KOTC Discord community. And KOTC stands for King of the Court, which is the podcast that he and Jimmy do. Sliding down the line. Jimmy Miller. Jimmy, if you're out there, you're watching Tyler, your boy here. give you a shout out as well those guys have done about 35 to 40 podcasts and I must say that I catch at least part of most of them for what that's worth wow defended Oh, just to be sure, Tyler cracks it down the middle. Really had to work hard for that put away though. Frazier and Johnson really making them work for every point. Yeah, I was just gonna say, I mean, that last point, that's what you have to do to win a point against Frazier and Johnson. They are machines. They just grind you down with the dinking game and There's a reason why they basically get to the finals every week of these tournaments because they don't get upset by anybody. They lose to the Johns brothers, they lose to other really elite teams maybe, but I was just going to say they don't make mistakes and of course <laughs> Dylan hit a ball right in the net there. And JW said, huh, I'm okay with that. And that you have to sort of question that offensive timeout that they took because now Garnett and Long are now in front 6 5. 
Gordon, are you questioning the judgment of two of our <laughs> premier players and most consistent team in pickleball? I'm shocked. Yeah, but you can't you can't argue with what you said. I didn't even realize that they'd won six points in a row there. I mean, I, have they ever lost six points in a row before? I don't think so. shot there by Connor. He put the ball outside a little bit of um, Dylan's reach, and so Dylan hit that just off the edge of the paddle and couldn't keep the ball in court. Smart play from... We are knotted at six here, so good match, Bruin. Oh, so uncharacteristic uh, errors here. It's weird. And it's my fault, too. Remember, I was going to compliment Dylan, and all of a sudden, these guys lost six points in a row. So, very interesting to see how they're doing, and obviously they're doing well in the tournament. Um, Tyler told me that his last match was a little bit chippy. They played against Yates Johnson and Roscoe Bellamy, and apparently not everybody was happy with everybody else. Nice slice, thank you. Stealing each other out at this point. And yeah, it just, you know, it seems like every time you go at Dylan Frazier, something bad happens for the other team. 6-6-1. Six, 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 Great spot. Clever yep. play by Dylan Frazier there. Right on the right hip again. And as we've been talking it. about, they've been on six for a while, so I'm sure they were happy to get off six. And now they'd be happy to get off seven. Oh. So if you watch there, JW made a little bit of a mistake, but maybe not. Maybe he just baited Tyler to going for that middle ball. And JW stepped right over into the center and whacked the forehand down the middle. A few quick points here for Frazier and Johnson. So running the scoreboard here for us today is Twinkle. And Twinkle's kids are watching, and we're gonna give a shout out to Abby, who turned five on June 1st, and Ben. And Ben turns 11 on June 24th. And that's so. game, so. Just a little confusion over the uh, last point, but there it is. It's 11-6. Johnson and Frazier have taken the first game here over Garnett and Long. Welcome to the Pickler, where everything's better. Everything's better at the Pickler. Everything's better at the Pickler. Tyler Loon with the ball in hand.
Oh. Nice play, and it's always nice to get those first points on the board. Man, I said earlier you can't beat Frazier, but obviously you can. Even Muhammad Ali beat Frazier back in the day. <laughs> Next time Dylan loses a point, I'm going to do a Howard Cosell impersonation for you. Oh, oh, and he shot him and in here, the chest. Are you guys ready for Howard Cosell? Down goes Frazier. Oh, great shots. Good great pressure. scrambling defense, but the power just too strong from JW there. And for those of you saying, who is Howard Cotzell? Which is probably 90% of you. He's a famous sportscaster from back in the day. He used to do the Monday Night Football. With Frank Gifford and ooh, Dandy Don, somebody who used to be a quarterback. Uh, and he would sing out the lines when the game was out of reach. Gordon, is, does Tyler uh, have an Ernie yet in this match? Uh, not, I haven't seen one in this match yet. I don't think so, and I just saw him like think about it, and so that made me realize, wow, there's been no Ernies. I'm surprised with these four players on the court. Well, here's why, because Dylan and JW are not gonna hit a dink down the line when Tyler's on that side, right? They just know better. Even at my level that I play, which is 5-0 something, um, I don't, I rarely hit dinks down the line, especially against guys that I know that are, um, you know, looking for those Ernie's. And uh, that would be someone like Ryan Gilbert. Shout out to Ryan Gilbert, who plays some pro tournaments, has made it into the main draw of quite a few. And I always forget, and early in the game, I'll hit a ball down the line, and Ryan will shove it down my throat, and I'll go, oh, yeah, that's right, I can't hit balls down the line against him. So what do you think's going through Garnett and Loon? How are they going to approach the rest of this match? They've got to find something and find it quick here. They're down 5-1 here in the second game. They've got to do something different, right? They say the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. Try something. And they've got to do it now. Hit some deep returns. Go for your serves. Go and for the Ernie. Ernie. There it is. Da -da 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 -da. There you go. <laughs> You got what you wanted, I, Glenn. Every time I say something, it's the, the players on the court have to prove me wrong, right? They, they're not going to hit it down the line dink. Well, maybe they will. And I don't even think they were in trouble on that one. I think they just kind of said, okay, let's get Tyler into this game and uh, get a match out of it. God, his flicks are so good. Flick. Watch, take, mark the tape right here. Go back and watch JW hit that shot and work that into your game. In slow motion. I mean, I feel like Dylan and JW are just on autopilot right now. They're just, you know, they feel really confident, feel like they can close this out whenever they want to. Yeah, they look so composed right now. Oh, nice. But Connor may have other ideas here. Can they find something special to get back into this? Another thing I just realized too is that Connor Garnett was suffering from the yips in the last couple tournaments and MLP, and he seems to have solved that problem. And I'm not sure what he's done, but he was missing. I think they were counting, and it was like 18, 19 
missed serves in the MLP tournament. Boom. Oh, almost. Super quick hands from JW. Just peppering Connor Garnett there. to get the double hand power behind that. Yep. So remember, they won six points in a row in the first game. Other than that, they have one point the entire match. And they're not going to get any more points by lobs like that. That was a great overhead from Frazier. Quick so side out, no yeah. damage done for Johnson and Frazier. There. So when they were up 6-5, since then, um, they have won 13 of the last 14 points, Dylan and JWF. So it's just dominating. And again, I and think he baited him there. He hit a ball, he kind of hung off to the side, hit him a ball that was attackable and then just came over in the middle with his forehand sitting there and smacked it. Really dictating terms. Yeah. And there, again, JW missed a shot. You can too. There's that Ernie. Everything here, Frazier and Dylan, to try and get back in to get to get this match. Welcome back to the Viola Sacramento Open, presented by Best Day Brewing. It's quarterfinal action, and you've joined us in time. It's match point here. And there it is, a clinical display by Johnson and Frazier. They've taken this quarterfinal match 11-6.